Stalking is wrong. Stalking is evil. Now that is what someone called Sam Stevenson did to Prince Harry and Meghan. Now let me tell you a short story. A story of Sam Stevenson. Now Sam Stevenson, his profile on Twitter reads, Digital News Editor for the Daily Express. This person, Sam Stevenson, flew all the way from the UK to US to harass Montecito residents asking them questions about Harry and Meghan. Harry and Meghan are peacefully living their lives in the US. Yet a so-called carnival of so-called experts from the UK, Sam Stevenson, flies all the way from the UK just to harass the community at Montecito, asking them questions about Harry and Meghan, and then trying to sow division and hate because, let's face it, that is the business model of the UK tabloid press. They spread hate for profit. They sow division to make a profit. That is what the UK press do. And that is what Sam Stevenson flew all the way from the UK to the US to do. To sow division and make a profit. That is the UK press business model. Now someone on Twitter brought this to my attention. And my family, I have to say this, this is despicable what they're doing. This is despicable and is wrong. This person posted on Twitter a couple of days ago saying this, I am out of office this week in California, so I stopped by Santa Barbara to speak to some neighbors of hashtag Megan and Harry. Please tell me this is not stalking. Please tell me that this is not stalking. This is stalking and it is wrong and it is totally unacceptable because this person wrote an article for the Daily Express which read Megan and Harry leave more digital residents divided. You know, it's funny that he used the word divided because that is what the UK press do. They, that's what they do. They spread hate and division for profit. They divide members of the royal family into factions, painting one as a villain and the other one as a hero, like what they've done to Prince Harry and Meghan. Painting them as villains, while White K, Milton and William are some form of heroes. That is what the UK press do. And Megan said it in the Oprah interview that the press seems to have, you know, the need to paint one faction as a villain and another faction as a hero. And Megan said this about it. If you love me, you don't need to hate Kay Moulton. If you love her, you don't need to hate me in response to that. My family, however, individuals so full of hate like Sam Stevenson can't stop or end this evil business model of theirs of harassing Prince Harry and Meghan. But I'll tell you one thing, it needs to stop. We are calling for this business model that harasses people, peaceful individuals, people like Harry and Meghan who are simply living their life in peace in America with their two kids, Archie and Lily Diana, and being harassed by individuals like Sam Stevenson, who is stalking them. And also, while doing it, harassing residents in Montecito, interrogating them about Harry and Meghan, asking them questions about Harry and Meghan. It is not okay. It is harassment. And it's high time that these individuals who work for the Daily Express to finally get it straight and clear that Harry and Meghan have a zero agreement policy with them. Which Harry and Meghan already said they do not engage with the Daily Express, Daily Mail, The Mirror, The Sun. They said so specifically. However, UK press just can't accept being rejected. They can't accept being rejected. They just can't tolerate it. So much so 
They were sending people to harass Harry and Meghan in their home, at their home. And this guy, based on what I've researched about this guy, this individual, he worked for the Daily Express, as I've said. And this person is even writing, you know, articles about Harry and Meghan's security detail in Montecito about their staggering security at the Montecito mansion. Now, how can you know this unless you've actually gone there, done your stalking, then wrote these kinds of articles? And you know my position about mentioning anything having to do with Harry and Meghan's security. Which the UK press, what they're doing is wrong. Let me tell you, what the press in the UK are doing is wrong. Why? Because I've never seen them measuring the number of security details that King Charles walks around with. They never ever mention that. They never mention the number of security detail the Prime Minister walks around with. Then why are they mentioning the number of security detail that Prince Harry and Meghan walk with? Like what I've seen Daily Fail doing. Like what I've seen them doing in real time. I've seen on TV someone even commenting about the number of security that Harry and Meghan walk around with. That is wrong. That is wrong. You are not supposed to do that. These are people who receive active threats every single day, which have escalated and increased based on the harassment, because of the harassment and the hate campaign that the farm and the UK press have against Harry and Meghan. And Meghan talked about it in the Oprah interview. When pleading with Prince Harry's extended family not to take away his security, Meghan said this. I told them, I see the death threats. I see the racist propaganda. Please, I know that my son and I mean nothing to you, but just let Harry keep his security and the farm say no. But yet you have them, not that Harry and Meghan have their own security, which the taxpayer does not fund, which Harry and Meghan put the bill on their own. Now you have these individuals in the UK press doing what? Mentioning the number of security details that Harry and Meghan are walking around with. They are doing this because they are trying to tell any single person who may want to do something or cause harm to Harry and Meghan by proxy because that's what Jeremy Vine said about his stalker, Alex Belfield. He said that his stalker probably wanted for someone, one of his followers, who listened to what he said to act against Jeremy Vine by proxy. That is what Jeremy Vine said in an interview at the BBC with Victoria Derbyshire. He said that when talking about his talker, Alex Belfield, who is now in prison. He said that, and it's the same, same thing that individuals like Sam Stevenson are doing by mentioning about Harry and Meghan's security in Montecito, by talking about the number of security details that Harry and Meghan walk around with, like what the Lily Fail has been doing. They're actively putting Harry and Meghan in harm, Harry and Meghan in harm's way. And it needs to stop. It needs to stop. It needs to stop. It needs to end. And it needs to end now. And I'm thankful for someone bringing this to my attention. Because this person, you know, Sam Stevenson, what he's doing is wrong. It's wrong. It's cruel. It's evil. It's unethical. It's unethical what they're doing. Now, someone, you know, a supporter of Harry Meghan, when he saw this tweet by Sam Stevenson, a supporter of Prince Harry Meghan, tweeted this and said this. This man, Sam Stevenson, flew from the UK to stalk two of your private residents while tweeting to Santa Barbara police. This is unacceptable, disrespectful, and dangerous. When he can travel where he wants, he has that right, yes. He should not be allowed to harass the community at Montecito. He should absolutely be paid a visit and his employer 
what about harassing residents in Montecito and harassing Prince Harry and Meghan? Now, Sam Stevenson deleted his tweet about his travel to Montecito, whereby he said, I'm out of the office this week in California. I'm out of office this week in California. So he stopped by Santa Barbara to speak to some neighbors of hashtag Megan and Harry, and then proceeded to post a link of an article titled Megan and Harry Leave Modesto Residents Divided. Allow me to just mention that kindly. Allow me to mention that kindly. These individuals, you know, when you talk about divided, you know, it's quite full of hypocrisy what the UK press does. The UK press, they spread division to further their hate campaign narrative against Harry and Meghan. And then they're talking about division. Divided. UK press, of all individuals, talk about division. UK press doing it? Of all people. And the UK press does it for profit. It does it time and time again. Spreads hate for profit. Spreads division for profit. To make money. That is what they, what they do every single day. And the behaviors of the likes of Sam Stevenson of stalking private residents in Montecito need to be called out. They need to be called out. And I'm thankful that members of the squad are ahead of me in even doing that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And this person, Sam Stevenson, deleted that tweet about leaving the office this week in California to stop by Santa Barbara because he saw it as stalking when people see it right through him because members of the squad are on it and I've called him off for it to the point that this guy had to delete that tweet because they saw it, the squad saw it people are seeing it for what it is it's stalking it's stalking it's harassment, it's bullying, it's hateful profit. That is what individuals like Sam Stevenson do for a living. And it's also disgraceful and so, so wrong. Someone thanked a member of the squad for calling him out and even tagging Santa Barbara police by saying this, you did the Lord's work, thank you. It was a collective effort. His comments and quote tweets were rightfully dragging him. The point that he deleted, you know, his comment of going all the way from the UK to California, Montecito, just to harass Prince Harry and Meghan. Just to harass Montecito residents. It's so, so wrong. It's so wrong. It's so wrong. I'm thankful for every single person who called out this behavior because it is harassment. It is stalking. And this could prove harmful to Harry and Meghan. The actions of the UK press could prove harmful to, towards Harry and Meghan. Not could. They are harmful towards Harry and Meghan. Sorry, let me correct that. They are harmful towards Harry and Meghan. Their actions are wrong. And they know it, but still they do it. And they need to be called out whenever they do it. I'm thankful for every single person who called this Sam Stevenson disgusting behavior out to the point that he deleted his tweet like he's boasting I'm out of the office this week in California. I stopped by Santa Barbara to speak to some neighbors of Meghan and Harry it's harassment, it's stalking it is wrong he should not be able to harass the community he shouldn't and every single person who encourages this behavior who allows this behavior or encourages it should be called out because it is wrong. It is unacceptable. Not okay. Now, someone said this, that, so he got scared. Sam Stevenson knows that what he's doing is illegal. Can't wait for UK media to meet Will Justice. Me too. And I'm hoping that Prince High's court case against Daily Fail will be the end of the daily fail. Someone said that I shared how to report him. The Department of Homeland Security for violating his tourism visa. 
he probably received a few calls. And whenever we see something like this, we need to call it out because this talking behavior puts Harry and Meghan in danger. The actions of the UK press are putting Harry and Meghan in danger. And stalking is wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. And totally unacceptable. Someone said that the only reason he deleted his tweet is because he did not get the hype he was hoping to get. He would get. Imagine, imagine having so much hatred inside of you for two people that it leads you to start stalking them. It's disgusting. Someone called AJ said that. Bingo! And I told him so on that little thread. Had the comments agreed with him, he would still be there. But since the cops, feds, and Homeland Security all got tagged, he scrapped it. Clearly, he verted violated his tourism visa going to stalk residents in Montecito going to check about Harry and Meghan security in Montecito it's so wrong, it's so wrong someone even said this that Sam Stevenson is a dangerous stalker, Montecito residents should be cautious of him thanks to all that contributed to his comment being removed Someone said that, well done on this. We fight back on these shows. Someone said that the audacity of Sam Stevenson to run for a mental health campaign on 27th September and then stalk Harry and Meghan on 13th of October, that character shift in a fortnight is alarming. While, target, while target, tagging at my charity, at Ipso News, at Rethink, all mental health charities. Someone said that, I hope that these charity organizations begin to acknowledge how this kind of journalism impacts mental health in the society. It's high time. Once again, no one does hypocrisy more than the UK tabloid press. No one does hypocrisy more than the UK tabloid press. My family, someone said that, I love you guys. The way you protect Harry and Meghan is just so beautiful. Good work. Thank you for tagging the cops. This is just so creepy. This is their hobby. And it's gross. Someone said that. Someone said that I hope Santa Barbara's sheriff department do pay him a visit for stalking and harassing residents in Montecito and going to stalk Harry and Meghan. My family, I hope so too. My family, I hope so too. I trust the squad when it comes to keeping receipts. Someone said that I have never seen a more unjustified, unjustly, sorry, hated person like Megan. With recession and travel costs expensive, a person decides to travel and fly to another continent just to witch hunt in Megan's neighborhood. How is this acceptable? Someone asked. It is what the UK press do. That is what they do. They are illegal and ethical behaviors. Someone said that Sam Stevenson is basically confessing to stalking Harry and Meghan all the way to the USA. And he needs to be called out for it. He needs to be called out for it. And glad that he deleted the tweet. Someone said that, thank you for exposing that stalker. Imagine traveling all the way to Santa Barbara to harass law-abiding and peaceful loving citizens to peel into their private lives, into others' private lives. He went all the way to Santa Barbara and called it passing by. He was there to harass Harry Megan. He was there to stalk Harry Megan. That is what he was there to do. And that is what he did. And his behavior needs to be called out. My family, thank you to all members of the squad that have called out such disgusting behavior of stalking of Harry and Meghan by this carnival of so-called expert called Sam Stevenson. Thank you, thank you so, so much, my family. Thank you to all of those who have called this out. My family, now I want to hear your opinion about all of this 
And with that, and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and support our ever-growing family on YouTube. Stalking needs to end. The stalking of Harry and Meghan by the UK press needs to end. And when you see it, please contact police authorities and tell them that two private citizens, Harry and Meghan, are being harassed by so-called carnival or so-called experts in the UK who are violating their tourism visa. My family, I want to hear your opinion. Please stay tuned to our next video. Kindly like, subscribe, and support our evergreen family on YouTube. Let's keep on fighting this hate campaign. Hate will never win. Only love will, will win. Love shall always triumph over hate. Stay tuned to our next video. May God bless and protect Prince Harry, Meghan, Archie, and Lily Diana, and Doria Ragland. And stay tuned to our next video. No weapon from the Prince Harry and Meghan shall prosper. Stay tuned to our next video. Hello, members of Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.